we're going to set up some telephones today this is what I've been using for the last couple of weeks this is the Uniden EXAI7980 I really enjoy talking on this telephone I think it's a great telephone but I just need more than one telephone because I end up missing a lot of calls so I brought over the Uniden 1580 set today and we'll set this up throughout the house and hopefully I won't miss so, so many calls I don't know why but there's no telephone jacks upstairs anymore they're just they're gone completely gone and it's kind of confusing to me because if you come downstairs here there is telephone wiring in the ceiling so I don't know where it went where the jacks went I mean, you see we got we have actually two telephone lines that run up along there and they go up into the wall and then we have another telephone line that runs over here to the other side of the house and then we have uh, this which I just put in temporarily we have this telephone line that runs the other side of the house and then we go to the other side of the house and you can trace all these wires and they all go to the rooms uh, let's see where was it see here's this wire the telephone wire it comes over here and it goes up this is right where the bedroom wall is so it should be there in the bedroom wall but they must have just closed it they must have stuffed the jack back in the wall and shut it so uh, that's just lovely so now I gotta redo all the phone wiring oh well anyway so that's a project that's kind of high priority but in the meantime I'll just utilize a, uh, a system like this which is exactly uh, the case that this is for for situations where you don't have any phone jacks available so I've got six oh jeez someday I'll get a real table we have six handsets here and two waterproofs we'll put one in the garage it's not the garage one in the garage and I'll put one in the bathroom. Since we're near the bathroom, let's go ahead and start with that one. We're gonna need to get a surge protector. Like Lamar trying to do all this stuff with one hand. <laughs> okay. So here we are in the bathroom. We got this cool older GFI. Go ahead and plug that in. And the grounding light seems kind of dim, so I may have to check that out. What else? See what the deal is with that plug this in and this is not really ideal because it's going to get in the way of the soap but for now it'll work you know shorten this this run a little bit I mean you wouldn't believe how many times I'm in the bathroom and phone rings. People make fun of me for having the phone in the bathroom, but you know what? I use it all the time. No, it's good to have. Uh, it's good to have for an emergency too. You know, if you're in the bathroom and someone breaks in the house or something, you don't want to be able to call. Okay, so there's that. Let's go get the handset.
This is the lime green handset. It's the same one that I had at the old house in the bathroom. Okay, that's charging up. Now, uh, let's put this one out in the garage. Now I'm going to go out into the garage and I'm going to be without the out of earshot of the telephone. So that's kind of where the issue comes into play. Really should have uh, used the GoPro camera for this because this is not super practical. Okay, here we are at the garage, and the door needs some help. Needs a new screen, and this needs to be adjusted because it doesn't close right. And this door is just needs some help as well. We had a water leak in here recently, so that's nice. So the yes, go there. And I just realized I forgot the surge protector. <sighs> cool all right so the outlet in the garage is on the ceiling <laughs> which is not ideal that's what it is so in fact you know I guess this is probably a good time to go get the surge protector is open I guess we could just go in through here. I don't need that. Okay, there it is. A big pile of screws. Lock that outlet in there, so I think I'm just going to use an ISO bar. Because those other ones, you know, they're great for the for just a basic cordless phone, but they tend to block the other outlet. It didn't block it in the bathroom here, you know, because it's it's the GFI, so it's got the extra space. But on a standard outlet, it tends to tends to block it, so not ideal. Okay, here we are back downstairs. shape or form ideal whatsoever. Okay. I guess I could turn that outlet around so it faces the other direction. That would be make it a little better at least. Not by much. I'm not sure what we can do here with this. I don't really want to 
hook it in screws because it can cut the wire. But just for now, I'll just uh, hang that like that. And then we'll on the phone. And I gotta change this from the living room to the garage, but the battery is out of charge. So we'll do that later. Got the Q China Fire going. China Fying away. I guess that would be a dehue china fire. Okay. It is very damp today. It's got to be 80 something percent. Okay, so we got the two waterproof phones set up. Now we'll do the cradles. We put this one in the living room. Not really sure where in the living room because it's kind of a disaster here uh, what is going on outside? Hmm. okay well uh, I guess I'll put this one over here put it uh, maybe we'll just put it on the window sill because it'll be nice when you're on the deck to be able to just come in and Grab the phone. Get that other surge protector. Come on, tripod, keep it together. This is the trip light single outlet surge protector with a model number of oh I don't know Spike Cube AGP 8286 I've been using these for a long time and uh, they seem to work okay okay so there's that one of these phones I think that's the uh, we'll just we'll go with this one the battery is out I mean this is not ideal here but it's good enough for now until I do something better eventually I'll probably Put a desk over there and then I can put the phone on the table. But we're not there yet. Okay. I need a unit downstairs. Well, I don't know where it's going to go. 
there's already a, well this is actually where the telephone equipment and the networking equipment resides for now. This is not permanent. Um, there's one extra outlet open on this thing. But the shelf is not really accessible, so I'm not sure that it's practical to put it there. But it is the only outlet that I have around here that's not switched. There's an outlet where the bench is right now, but it's not switched. So that's not going to work for the phone. I mean, but it is switched. So it's not going to work for the phone. Oh yeah, there's plenty of uh, plenty of uh, plugging capabilities here. Kind of in the range of All right, that's good. All this coaxial jump up here, it's flipping coax central in the sense. I've never seen so much coax in one house in my life. They sure love watching TV, but I guess they never talk on the phone. I gotta do something better with this, you know, I gotta get all the stinking coax out of here and this, that, and the other. But I can just pop this phone up here for now. Uh, at least I'll be able to hear the phone ringing when I'm down here. That'll be an improvement over the current situation, which is just missing the call. This is hard to reach, but better than it was, better than nothing. Okay, I'll go get the phone itself. And we can put that down there. So this, and I'll show once we got the handset in there. There's phone. Trying to avoid having to change all the banners on these things. There we go. I mean, that's that. No, that stinks. I don't like that at all. I foresee multiple issues here with this. Uh, it's just going to have to end up going somewhere else. Uh, uh, right. Let's see here. Um, well, this is turning into kind of a fiasco now. I wonder if this outlet is switched. May not be. But there's nowhere to nowhere to put the phone over here. Oh, come on. This stinks. Hmm. That outlet is switched. This, I don't know, I don't think it's plugged in anywhere. Because the only outlet is there, it's switched. I could put an outlet on that box, I guess. Could do that. Oh, there's this outlet here. But again, there's nowhere to plug in the phone. Hmm. This is really quite a predicament. Well, there's outlets in here that are not switched, but I don't want to put anything over here yet because I'm still working over here. So, hmm. Hmm, I don't know what to do about the phone down here. Well, for now, uh, huh. I guess for now we're not going to have a phone down here. I'll have to figure that out later. 
I think what I'll do is I'll put an outlet in that box I showed above the oil tank. And then uh, that should alleviate that problem. Well, I suppose for now we can just put this telephone in the kitchen. We've got a power bar. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll just put this telephone in the kitchen for now, and then uh, I'll move it to somewhere else later. This of course is temporary, it's not going to stay like this, this is not correct. telephone there which is eventually we'll put that downstairs okay so that leaves the, the base and one more cradle so the base we have no choice on it has to go into the bedroom for now because that's the only area where there's a telephone plug it has to go right here well, actually, that's not entirely true because ah, that's actually not true at all. It could go in here because because uh, the wire, telephone wire, just kind of feeds up through there. So I could run another phone line, but I don't feel like doing that right now. That'll be something for later. So I think just for purposes of simplicity, I'll just plug it in here. I use the answer machine on the uh, on the 7980 for now. Actually, you know what I could do is yeah. Once I get the desk in there, I'll move it because I could put I could fairly easily move the telephone the telephone line. I could just put a splitter on there and do it that way. Speaking of which, I need a splitter anyways. Do I have a really long? I'm gonna run this 
space for the power bars. Whatever, this is what it is for now. It's just gonna be like this. plug in that other phone somewhere so that I can charge up. And figure out the basement situation. This is the studio phone. So this is the one that I'll put downstairs. Gotta be something I can do about that. Now nah, I'll just deal with it later. Yeah, that outlet switched. That outlet's too far away from anything. Yeah. No, it's not gonna work. Apparently the tripod's not gonna work either. Okay, so for now, I'll just uh I'll just plug this up right here so that it charges and then hopefully uh, I get the other situation downstairs figured out and then put this in place. So that's what we got for now. A little more ringers now so I'll be able to hear it better.